Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle Rohner, lover of all things easy peasy keto. We are meal prepping today. Simple meal prep. I think meal prep makes your life so much easier and it's so much easier to stay on track. We're gonna do chicken two ways with two different sides so it doesn't kind of get boring. Uh, let's just go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we're gonna meal prep chicken breast two ways. So I like to use what I have in my house. So I have this in my freezer. Uh, we get this at Costco. I took some out. There's still some left in there. I also had broccoli in my fridge, so we're gonna use that and some frozen cauliflower. I'm gonna make some cauliflower fried rice. So we're gonna do chicken breast two ways. So I took out about mm, nine or 10 chicken breasts because me, my husband, and the kids will all eat this chicken and veggie combo. The kids, I will add carbs. Um, but I like to meal prep in bulk, either keep in the fridge, keep in the freezer, and I like to use what we have at home, obviously to save money and to clean out your fridge and freezer. So let's cook chicken breast two ways. Okay, so the key, one of the first key steps to having delicious chicken is patting it dry. Okay. So I lay it down on paper towels and I pat with the paper towel and then we'll switch. So this is a dirty pan as well. So let's put the chicken over here and we'll get the paper towels off and then we will season. I'm gonna keep my seasoning pretty basic today. I just like to keep everything in my life simple. Meal prep simple, cooking simple, everything simple. This doesn't have to be complicated and it can still be super delicious. So, let's get our chicken out. I am going to do olive oil, and this is the seasoning that I'm gonna do today. It's just like an all-in-one, just keeps life easy, great for chicken, and there's the nutrition facts. Simple, so let's do this. I like to use avocado oil. This is good for high temps. So a little bit of olive oil on all of the chicken. I'll rub it around so it doesn't have to be like exact. And don't be scared of seasoning. <laughs> a lot of it burns off anyway, so don't be scared. I try to keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. So massage that in. Okay. And then we are gonna do chicken two ways, but the basic seasoning is fine because it's gonna absorb a lot of the flavors that we incorporate the meal into. So don't worry about that. This is like a great basic for a chicken seasoning. I think meal prep can be overwhelming for people because you don't know what seasonings to do and you don't know how to combine them. And it really doesn't have to be like that. A lot of times my meals get absorbed, the flavors that get absorbed are like the sauces or the hot sauce. So you don't have to worry over complicate the seasoning of it. Okay, there's our chicken. So I'm gonna have my husband do, it, do the chicken on his uh, charcoal grill, but you could easily do this in the oven or however you like, but it is just easier for us to do it um, on his grill. So let's do that. Okay, now let's cook our broccoli. I always prefer to roast my vegetables. You can do more at the same time, and I just think the flavor is a lot better. So I always line my baking sheet with aluminum foil because easy cleanup. So we have some broccoli. I'm just gonna chop this up, olive oil and some seasoning, easy peasy. Let me rinse it first. And I apologize if you can see my pants in here. I didn't plan on them being in the video, and I'm like, in cheetah pants and a tie-dye sweater, but it's one of those Sundays, so. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I like the stems. So, just chop up your broccoli. Babe, do you like the stems? No? I do. Maybe I'll save the stems for something else. Now, again, I keep things pretty basic. I like to season with the basics. Salt and pepper. 
basic. And paprika. Paprika, I think, is a super underrated seasoning. I love it. And garlic. It's like pretty much what I season everything with. So let's hit this with just a little olive oil. Salt and pepper. Paprika. That's what I said, didn't I? Oh, sorry, I'm an avocado. Sorry, grammar police. Okay, mix those up, massage those seasonings in. The salt and pepper is gonna bring out the natural flavor of the veggies. Paprika is just gonna like elevate it. The garlic, mm, yum. I wish you guys could smell this. It is delicious. Roasted veggies are so underrated, I promise you. And easy cleanup, easy to make in bulk. So this is great. You could honestly do this with any vegetable. I do it with cauliflower, with squash, like, any veggie, like I love roasted vegetables, this is the way to go for me. And preheat your oven, I do 450 for eh, about 20 minutes. Okay, broccoli, it's going in the oven at 450 for about 20, 25 minutes. Depends on how al dente or crunchy or crispy or mushy or not mushy, whatever you like, however you like to eat your veggies. I do about 20 minutes, I like them to still be a little crunchy. Okay, so here's his little Weber charcoal grill. I'm gonna be totally honest. I know nothing about this This is totally his arena. Okay, so that's the charcoal and then what you add the wood chips No, nope. heat up the grill Oh, okay, so here's his little charcoal grill. That's where he's gonna be doing the chicken and Dad life right next to the jungle gym <laughs> Okay Chicken going on. So how long on each side, babe? Like a minute each side. A minute each side? And then we're gonna put them in direct over here. Okay, then what? And throw some wood chips on and I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> he cooks like I season. You just measure with your heart. For chicken, internal temp should always be 165. So that's a good gauge. If you aren't like comfortable with measuring by feel, he measures by feel a lot. So he just kind of like pokes the chicken and knows um, how done chicken feels, um, but you can always use a meat thermometer. 165 internal temp is uh, cooked. Okay, so about one, uh, one to two minutes on each side, then move over to indirect heat and then cover for about 20 to 30 or until internal temp is 165. And there we have it. Delicious, roasted, crispy broccoli. I'm telling you, roasted veggies is the way to go. This was 450 for 20 minutes. Yum. Okay, so now let's do the other veggie. We're gonna do fried cauliflower rice. So I get these at Costco. Comes in like a four pack. You just microwave them for five minutes right in the bag. And they're super easy. You can eat them with just like butter and herbs, but I like to make them into the fried rice just because I like a different flavor profile. So we'll do the chicken and the roasted broccoli for a few meals, and then we'll do like an Asian inspired chicken fried rice for the rest of the meals just because it doesn't feel monotonous and boring. You get an Asian inspired dinner and then just like a basic chicken and broccoli, which you can have like sugar-free barbecue sauce, hot sauce, whichever. I like to have variety and full flavored food. Keto and low carb does not have to be boring and bland. Trust me, uh, it can be absolutely delicious. So we'll do this for five minutes, squeeze out the water, drain it, and then we'll get going on the cauliflower rice. Okay, the five minutes has passed in the microwave, so it's fully cooked, but you gotta drain the water and it is very, <laughs> very hot. So be careful. You like cannot do this with bare hands. So what I do is I get a knife, and don't puncture it too much because then the cauliflower rice will come out, but I kind of puncture it just a few times 
so we can drain the water. Okay, that was more than a few times, but you know what I mean. And then, ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> so you can get like a cloth. I sometimes get like some paper towels. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, and then just drain as much water out of there as you can. I am a baby when it comes to heat, actually, though, like my hands. I don't know, my husband, like, he can, like, touch things that I swear are on fire. Let's see how much water comes out. I'm gonna get all that water out. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just get as much as we can, because this is killing me. Or you could let it sit until it cools down a little bit. You could do that, but I live on the edge. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty dry. We'll let's see. So I can hear my mom in my head saying, "Don't use your teeth to open things." Um, okay, but we're gonna add this to a bowl. You could do two packages, one package, whichever. I like to add. So there's our cauliflower rice. How easy is that, Costco? I'm telling you. I keep these in my freezer as well. Now, okay, guys, don't come at me. Yes, there's some carrots in here. Yes, there's some corn in here. Could you consider this dish more low carb than keto? Okay, maybe, but trust me, it's healthy, it's delicious. You're not gonna gain weight from eating a carrot, okay? <laughs> I also keep these little edamame. So I keep these in my freezer for whenever I make this. So this is ready to go, that's ready to go. Let's put it in my cast iron. Okay, so cast iron is on medium heat. Let's add some avocado oil. Okay. Then we are going to add some of our veggies because they're frozen, so we'll add those first. Now, if you are being very strict keto um, and or low carb and you would like to measure this, that's fine. You totally can. That's not really where I'm at in my journey. Ooh, I dropped some water. Um, so I don't, but you definitely can. So I'm just going to add, I don't know, maybe about a cup of each. Half a cup, maybe. Okay, we'll cook those for a little bit. So like I said, if you are at a point in your journey where you're being extremely strict, you know, not going over 20 grams a day, that's totally fine. Um, so you can just measure that. Okay. I'm gonna get my spices ready. Ooh. Um, some sesame chili oil. Love that. And some low sodium soy sauce. And let's do two eggs. Okay, let's add in our cauliflower. Incorporate that in. Okay, we'll make a little well. You know what, actually I kinda like to push it all to one side and then push the pan over so this is right over the flame. And then I add my two eggs. You can do one or two eggs. I like two because I feel like I like the added protein and like a little bit of filler. Okay, and we just scramble those eggs. This is honestly one of the easiest meals and it is so good and full of flavor. This is like a staple for me. Do you like this one, babe? Yeah, we love this one. 
And you can do shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice. You can just do fried rice. We love it. Just splashed myself in the forehead and now on my shirt. It's okay. I don't like my egg runny, so I like thoroughly cook my egg. But you can cook it to your liking. I do not like my eggs runny at all, even my scrambled eggs. But that's just me. I basically like fried eggs. Okay. Let's incorporate that back in. And now, add the low sodium soy sauce, however much you like. This sesame chili oil just gives it a little kick and a really, really good depth of flavor. You can see we use this a lot. It's like almost gone. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a little more. Okay, I found more. I knew we had more. Okay. Now we're talking. You gotta have that sesame oil. It takes the flavor to a whole nother level. Okay, so there we go. Veggies two ways, chicken's almost done. Okay, take this off the heat, let this chill. Okay, so here's our meals. Oh, she stole hers. <laughs> okay, so we have the cauliflower fried rice with chicken. That is mine, that is Peter's. And then the babies just have added potatoes. What do you think? Um, Yum. Raylan's it good? Yum. Okay, so let's put our meal prep containers together. So all four of us already ate dinner, so there was four meals. <clears throat> and now let's prep what we have left. So I got this little scale at like Walmart. Um, I wait till I turn it on. I got these at Ross. I put it on there. I hit the tear button so we go to zero. And then I do four ounces of meat. Uh, let's do four and a half. Okay. We'll set those aside. And like I said, we'll do like half and half. Half broccoli and then the half the cauliflower rice. Okay, so there's just a few pieces left, so I just add to the remainder. Mm, right over there and over there. Okay. So now we'll do uh, probably two broccoli. Okay. Clean as we go. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. Two broccolis. We'll do like two scoops each. So this actually ended up being perfect. So four meals for tonight, four meals left over. Yum. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. Meal prep has always really helped me stay on track and just helps life be a little easier during the week. You don't have to rush home and cook. Meals are already ready to go in your fridge. You don't even have to think about it. Um, so I hope this helps and keeps things not so like boring with mixing up some flavors. So don't forget to like, follow, and hit that uh, bell so you know when I post a new video. And don't forget to let me know what you want to see next.